In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to add OneDrive files to the Files app on your Chromebook so that you can access all your OneDrive files directly within the Files app, just like you would with Google Drive files. When you're in the Files app here, you can see we have My Files, which is all the files that are on your Chromebook, and Google Drive, which is all the files that are on Google Drive. But to add a third section with all of your OneDrive files, you'll need to come up to the top right-hand corner here and click on these three dots here. And then in this menu that appears, come down and hover over Services here. And in the menu that appears next to that, you should see Connect OneDrive here. There's also SMB file share, but that's more advanced. That's probably another video. But if you want to connect OneDrive, go ahead and click Connect OneDrive here. And now it'll pop up with this window and it'll basically walk you through the setup process for connecting OneDrive. So you go ahead and click Connect to OneDrive here. And now it'll pop up with the Microsoft sign in page. So you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. Hopefully, you know the details for that. Often, if you just type in your email address for your Microsoft account, it'll actually give you the option to receive an email code rather than needing to know the password, which is pretty handy. So Tamil, go ahead and sign in here. And now it's asking for the password. But if you didn't know the password, you can actually click email code to that. And then it will send a code to that email address and you just type that code in there. Timmy's actually going to do that because Timmy doesn't feel like typing the password. And now it will ask you if you want to stay signed in. And Timmy's not sure if this will impact actually accessing OneDrive or not. But Timmy would recommend you click yes to stay signed in. That way you won't have to sign in again in the future just to keep accessing your OneDrive files. You'll definitely just be able to click on OneDrive and access your files. So Timmy's going to go ahead and click yes here. You could click no, but then you might have to keep re-signing in again and again. And now Microsoft is going to ask you if you want to let this app, the app being Chrome OS, to access all of this stuff. And if you want to access OneDrive on your Chromebook, you kind of need to allow all of this. So just go ahead and click accept here. And now OneDrive is connected. So it says Microsoft OneDrive connected here. And we can just close this message. And now, as we can see back in the Files app, below the Google Drive section is a Microsoft OneDrive section. So now you can click on Microsoft OneDrive here. And all the files and folders and everything like that that you had in OneDrive is now available here. So now you can open these files and edit the files and rename them, move them into different folders, create folders, everything like that, just like you would anywhere else in the Files app on your Chromebook. But all of these files are stored on OneDrive. So they won't be taking up any space on your Chromebook, and they will be taking up space on your OneDrive account. Microsoft gives you five gigabytes for free, or you can pay for more, or you might have better deals to get more or something. But now you have all of your files right here. And now if you want to copy files from your Chromebook into OneDrive, you could come into downloads or something and just click and drag a file and drop it in OneDrive. And then it will copy it across there, preparing and now that's complete. So now that files in there. Or if you wanted to copy a file from OneDrive onto your Chromebook or onto Google Drive, you could click and drag a file in here and drop it somewhere else here. And any files you put in this OneDrive folder will be synced to OneDrive. So if you pull up a OneDrive sync folder or app on another device, you'll see all those files there. Or if you go to the OneDrive website in Chrome somewhere, you would see all of your files in here. And now we're in OneDrive here. 
So we can see all of these files in here. That's home, but if we went to My Files, we would see exactly all the files just like that. So all the files have synced there. So this is all really good, but the one downside with using Microsoft OneDrive files like this is unlike Google Drive, this doesn't work offline at all. With files in Google Drive, you can select specific files you want to save offline so that you can access them when there's no internet. But if to me quickly turns off Wi-Fi down here, just to demonstrate, so we come in here and we turn off Wi-Fi. Now you'll see it immediately went off OneDrive and OneDrive is grayed out and you actually can't click on it. Whereas if we went into Google Drive, we wouldn't be able to access all the files, but we could still open some of them and see all of them and everything like that. And we can obviously see all the ones that are on the Chromebook. So if you're going to be using your Chromebook offline a lot, this isn't ideal. So if you're about to use your Chromebook offline and you have some files on OneDrive that you need to access, you want to transfer them across to Google Drive or just save them directly to your Chromebook so that you can access them. But as long as you're working online, which usually these days you'll pretty much always be online in some capacity, and as long as you are, you can use Microsoft OneDrive and it works very well. And that's really all there is to it. We now have My Files, which is files on your Chromebook, Google Drive, which is files on Google Drive, and Microsoft OneDrive, which is files on OneDrive. So that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next one.